Hey everyone, welcome back to Colorful Indian. I'm so happy to have you here. Today we're going to be looking at the Love is Blood palette by Salem Cosmetics. Now this is an indie makeup brand that I really love and they sent me this palette. It has a remastered formula so I'm going to be you know, just showing this to you and uh, doing some looks with it, having some fun with it. Those duochromes look absolutely amazing so I'm super excited to get those onto my eyes. So um, without further ado, we're going to get into that. But I do have some palette shots here and I also have swatches and of course tutorials. So the first shade I want to go in with is this over here. This is um, Intimacy. I'm probably going to go in with this and then that beautiful kind of like burgundy red pink shade. And then of course I want to definitely go in with one of those um, dual chrome shades in there which I accidentally tapped with my brush I know. So yeah, we're just going to start with the mattes first. Alright, so this is uh, the shade Intimacy which I'm going to just put over here because it seems appropriate. To have a deep brown shade right here. It is very, very pigmented. I didn't really feel like I picked up that much, so that's a good thing. It's showing up very well. Um, I haven't had a problem with Salem's uh, formulas before, so if you haven't tried them, it's really gonna be worth it um, trying this out. Okay, so now I'm going in with that really pretty shade. I think this is actually more of a pink shade than a red one. Like when I was looking at it, I was wondering if this was like a burgundy or something, but it looks more like a deep pink shade. So I'm just kind of getting, I had a very little on my brush, so I'm just gonna get a bit more of that onto my lid. Right over here. I like that, that looks really pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the duochromes. Um, I'm still kind of wondering which ones to go in for. I'm just gonna risk it and just do whatever so i'm gonna go in first with resilience i think which is this over here and then i think maybe slayage over there and they both look like they're very pinky kind of shades so i really don't know what to expect this is very smooth this is resilience i'm gonna stamp that on here i've already put um my eyeshadow base on top so that um i have minimal you know fallout but this is actually such a smooth shade i don't think it's possible to have fallout here oh i really like this it's um it's so pretty it's like this pink and then it goes into this it's got like a green shift you can definitely see that coming through then it's it's kind of made the look so pretty and different and i don't think i've done a look like this so i do like that um i'm gonna go in with i think i'm changing it because slayage looks really really pink too so i think i'm gonna do love and hate because that one looks like it's a bit more white based yeah so we'll see how that looks in the corner of my eyes oh wow that's really pretty yeah that's exactly what i wanted like a tiny little highlight kind of shade i'm gonna go and correct my eyes and finish up the look and then i'll come back Hey everyone, this is the finished look. Now I just want to get you the makeup details before I share my feedback on you know these first few shades that we've used. Um, I went in with Third Eye, which is a very old lipstick from Lime Crime. I doubt you'll be able to find this today, but I really love using um, old makeup. I have so many things from like over the years and yeah find it very hard to get rid of those things. Uh, my mascara is from Benefit. It's the Bad Girl one in black and I really do love this mascara. I think it's really, really lovely. Just look at that. 
It gives so much uh, length to my lashes. I have been growing out my lashes using castor oil. So if you're someone who wants to grow out your lashes, I highly recommend castor oil. I just apply a little bit of that every night and uh, it's been working wonders. Now for my cheeks, I went in with Yensa and for my foundation, I went in with Yensa as well. So I just want to give you both of them at the same time. So this is actually the um, foundation with SPF, which I absolutely love. Yensa is one of my favorite brands and I absolutely love using their products. And and um, with the blushes, I went in with this Radiant Rose. It's a pink shade and you can see how it's uh, kind of just blended into my cheeks so easy. Like if I come down here, you can see a bit of that pink flush coming through a bit better. Um, I absolutely love Yensa. I cannot get enough of them. I think that they are excellent and underrated because I barely hear anybody talking about these products. Now for my um, eyes, I went in with the shade Wiccan. So that's the eyeliner over there. This is by Sinful Echoes and Sinful Echoes literally just had a restock of their Lotus Bloom collections. So I highly recommend going and checking those out if you're interested in picking any of these products up. I love this black eyeliner. It is so pigmented. Like this gives the Indian in me <laughs> um, all you know the joy in the world because I am so big on eyeliners and eyeliners were the one of the first products that you know I saw all of my um, peers wearing around me and it's a very big part of Indian culture so I just love this it's so pigmented and I'm hoping and praying that Sinful Echoes puts out more colors especially um, metallic colors because I just will be so excited especially if they're jewel tones I will be so excited about that now for my eyeshadow base you saw what I went in with that is the alter ego eyeshadow base which I have a code for so I'll put that up if you want to go and get that for my eyebrows I went in with the ULAC brow kit pretty much the same products I use for like practically every single look um, and I have a code for that too so you can go and uh, you know save some coin with that now let me get into the way that the shades performed I absolutely loved the way that all of these things performed um, they're very very smooth I love the formula of the duochrome so we've actually used resilience over here then we did love and hate we did that shade this shade and I also did this one like right underneath my eye here kind of just wanted to do something different like I was gonna go in with that pink and then I felt that was just far too obvious for the look you know because it just made too much sense and I was like okay let me just switch it up a bit with that orange but of course because I have brown skin it doesn't look too jarring it just looks like I have um, a little bit of color under the eyes and it's just you know enough for me so I'm pretty happy with the way that the look turned out I showed you the shifts these are such smooth colors you can see the shift with me just doing this so I really really like that um, and I really like that inner corner shade as well it's just so pretty I feel like I could easily wear that for like a dinner or something because it's just so so pretty I feel like you could wear this for every day too I like that pink too so this is coming off as a really lovely palette for summer that you could use for everyday use now we have got several shades that I haven't used yet that would be devotion um, so that would be this yellow this pink and then I haven't gone in with um, that orange and that pink. So I think that for the next look, I'm probably going to be going in with all of those four. I may add on an additional one um, just so that we can finish up using all of these shades. So I'm pretty excited. Let me see you at that next look. So now I'm going to be going in with those last four shades. We've got Chosen, Devotion, uh, that's that pink. We've got this pretty um, yellow over there. And then of course we've got that orange. So it's gonna be a very bright, uh, you know, kind of happy uh, look, I guess. And maybe I'll go in with um, Beneath You again. So let's just see what happens because I genuinely like having like a deeper color on the ends of my eyes. So I'm first going to go in, of course, with my base. All right, so I'm going to go in uh, with Beneath You. So that's this one over here because I genuinely like having like a, a slightly deeper shade on the ends of my eyes. It's very, um, it's going to be like a very, very summery look. So that's why I was thinking that this is a perfect summer palette because the colors in here really did remind me an awful lot of summer. Um, now I'm going in for Chosen, which is a very, very bright pink. So let's see how that's going to work. I'm going to deepen what I already put up over there. You can see this is kind of like a mix of um, that pink and that orange coming together right over there. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing right over here. Now this is the shade Devotion. It's a lovely yellow and uh, I'm just gonna take that and kind of press that right here, like right onto my skin. I kind of feel it's quite faint um, because my skin is yellow, right? So it kind of comes, it kind of blends in with my skin. Okay, now it's kind of building up a bit. So this is probably one of those shades where you'll have to use um, 
see you can you can see that yellow coming through there so that's what it looks like on my skin um, and I'm going to do the same thing right here so in, honestly any color that's yellow kind of um, it will blend in with my skin quite a bit because my undertone is yellow so <laughs> don't really at least in some places I feel like it's yellow but other places I feel like it's a neutral so it's hard for me to find like a proper olive foundation and I did find one that I really liked but it is never in stock so you know I just got to deal with whatever is available so anyway this is the yellow I think it's really pretty actually brightens my eyes just the right amount without making me look like I've got panda eyes okay these shades are beautiful um, the orange one is William the Bloody and then the pink one is Slayage it's so so pretty I I don't even want to like I wish I could do two separate looks because they're, they're, they got, they've got very strong shifts. So um, when you're looking at the orange shade here, it kind of goes into this pretty yellow and then pink. And then this pink shade is going into a orange and uh, it's kind of going into a interesting gold almost. So these shades are beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to put the orange one in the inner corner, like here, because I feel like that would be the best. And then I'm going to put the pink one in the center because uh, I put mostly pink right all over the rest of my eye with that thing so it just makes the most sense to me and yeah I think that this um, this is how yeah that's how it, lo it looks beautiful this is the finished look and we have done all nine shades in the palette so I can honestly tell you now you know my thoughts on this and how I feel about it this, the, let me give you the makeup details before we do anything else uh, for my mouth I kept it very simple I've only used a TYS Beauty lip gloss this is from Ipsy it's a Shia Butter lip gloss and it's very simple this is just my normal mouth color you know it's got a slight pink tint to it but not enough to do anything dramatic which I'm fine with I use the same blusher for Yensa and uh, that's this one over here it's the Radiant Rose one I really love cream blushes right now I just feel like they're amazing use the same mascara as well um, and then of course the foundation is also the same and it's somewhere around here hiding um, but the rest of the details um, even the eyeliner is the same thing this is Wiccan by Sin Sinful Echoes which I really like um, and I think that's about it there's really nothing more to say about that so let me get into the palette now I really would like to break down the shades for you so let's talk about the mattes they're extremely extremely pigmented like you're not gonna have problems getting color onto your eyes I love the pigmentation of this it's just so bright happy and summery so I really was happy with the way every single thing performed this yellow of course will probably look better on fairer skin tones or you could just use like a like more of a white base to get like the truest color here but I didn't really feel like this was a deal breaker I like the color and I think that it worked really well with this look and I feel like it just blended out beautifully so I'm fine with that um, I feel like the pink was very very intense these were very like all of these all three of these uh, mattes over here were extremely pigmented and they looked beautiful like you can see what it looks like right I mean it's it's doing uh, exactly what it needs to do so I'm very happy with that now the duochromes oh my goodness they're so so smooth like buttery buttery smooth so if you like that kind of formula you're gonna love these I haven't seen creasing in my eyes you can see a close-up of my eyes here there's no creasing happening so I'm pretty happy with the way that the palette has worked really love the shifts as well and I think that this is really cute especially for summer so for me this is a summer indie palette if you're planning to pick it up you can go ahead and do so and I do have a code you can get a little coin you know saved if you use that code but you don't have to you know just use whatever is convenient for you and and um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about the palette. I do like it and uh, I think that it's a great addition to the other one that I have from Salem Cosmetics because if you go and check out, I'll link that over here. So that one was like all blues and more purple and more pinks. And here it's kind of like the warmer toned side of the collection coming in. So I really like the formula of the duochromes. I think they're beautiful. And uh, if you're someone who's looking for like a warm summer tone palette, then you know, this may be something that you'd want to check out. So thank you for joining me for this. It was lovely to review this for you and I will see you soon with another makeup video very soon. Lots of love. Bye-bye.